Okay, back on the hard. So had a great sailing season. Uh, did not do anything long distance, just uh, mainly day sails. But uh, being that I was unemployed, I, I, I basically got to sail almost every day. Um, you know, some weeks I sailed literally seven days a week uh, in all kinds of weather. At extreme heels. Wing on wing. And pretty much everything in between. So uh, I trailered the boat back. Uh, as you can see, emptied everything out here. I'm uh, now back in refit mode uh, with many, many projects to come. So I'm going to go over some of the uh, more major projects that I'll be tackling here and uh, hopefully recording on video. Okay, so let me go over that list that I have here. Um, okay, so got to do uh, some, address some deck delamination, uh, some small spots that I noticed this year, uh, didn't notice them before. Uh, some, uh, there's some small leaks in the side decks, um, actually in there that I've already addressed. So, um, probably take that off the list. Uh, there's the tiller conversion from the wheel. Um, that is not as easy as, uh, I thought it was going to be because there's some parts that I'm going to need for that, that may be hard to come by. Um, I may go back to the original stuffing box. Um which is this right here over the PSS shaft seal which I did uh, and I'll go over why I'm doing that if I do that I need to ground the mast and the rig for lightning uh, I'm probably going to do a separate episode on that uh, I want to relocate the batteries from the under the floor to under one of the quarter berths uh, install jack lines repaint some cleats the cockpit floor uh, is not um, well I need to come up with a better way of fastening that which will allow me to um, remove it quickly or quicker uh, starboard water tank uh, needs to be better vented um, my single-handed mast raising system that I had been working on piecemeal over the past couple of years um, I started working on that but I, I needed to stop I really need to rethink the way I'm, I'm going about that um, I don't think it's safe you know I don't want to drop the mast uh, so I'm going to come up with something else uh, let's see so uh, I want to put a, a foot pump in the galley for salt water um, getting new cells made uh, that'll be a happy event and um, I do have a furler so I'm going to install that uh, the wet locker, I'm going to be installing shelves in there to make that a uh, uh, more efficient organization. Uh, possibly install a cockpit clutch for the mainsail, not sure yet. I have a spinnaker <clears throat> that I accidentally put a tear in. Um, but once I fix that, I want to make a spinnaker sock and um, an ATN tacker that will allow me to use it like uh, you use a asymmetrical spinnaker since it is a symmetrical type um, and lots of small jobs uh, so the engine panel you know some of the wiring is exposed I need to box that in make something for the back um, and lastly um, I need to do something on um, safety equipment um, yeah, I have a I had a, a release life raft that I got rid of and I now have a, a canister model uh, to mount on the deck um, so I'll probably do a Whole separate episode on that to do uh, to go over all the, the stuff that I have for that so let's get to work first I'm going to address some deck delamination <clears throat> um, so I previously did do a um, a survey of the boat uh, where the the deck core is concerned um, and other than the chain plate areas, which I record uh, last year, uh, there really isn't any moisture. However, this area here, right to the side of the um, 
midship hatch. Uh, it does creak and it does move a little. So uh, the basically the skin, the fiberglass skin, is delaminated from the the plywood core that's in there. So I'm going to try uh, and do a sort of um, a bunch of holes and then fill those with epoxy and hopefully that'll kind of creep in in between the uh, the sandwich of the, the skin and the the core also have some smaller areas that are doing some creaking but not really flexing but I think it'll be a good idea to be proactive and do that uh, do that same thing over there um, up on the foredeck uh, to the port side so let's see how this goes. I've laid out a bit of a grid pattern here for the holes I'm drilling. Uh, gone well beyond the parts that I need to repair. Um, also, I'm planning to over drill the, uh, the tr bolt rope track for the Dodger. Um, I did, I did, I did fill that with epoxy. Uh, earlier in the year, but I suspect I, I didn't do a very good job. So I had sealed it with butyl. So I'm just I just dabbed the uh, the holes to get off the old butyl. And now here it is, all drilled. Vacuumed up all of the <clears throat> fiberglass, um, and I'm glad to see that this wood core that I saved all very dry so uh, my readings were correct also uh, realized that using a broken drill bit right here into the tip keeps me from going too deep and going right through to the other side so that worked out well this is what I'm using for the epoxy uh, West systems uh, slightly thickened with 406 but not so thick uh, because I need it to kind of seep in between the, the voids uh, injected with a 10 mil medicine syringe and now all the holes are filled so that took quite a while because there were a lot of voids in this area here uh, and even up there but I got it filled and let's see how this goes tomorrow. And here is the part of the foredeck done, as I mentioned. Um, so I've spaced the holes out much, much further apart because this wasn't really too bad. Um, also placed some bricks on there for weight uh, to squeeze out any voids. Um, so let's see how this comes out. And that's the final result. Uh, it's nice and stiff and I just touched it up with some extra Kiwi grip that I had. I uh, just took a paintbrush and dabbed it down like this on the face to make the, uh, the texture, uh, which comes out very similar to the roller. So, um, I'm gonna call this done. Okay, so I've been wanting to finish off this section with Kiwi Grip uh, because I noticed uh, I do tend to step here a lot on the side of the front hatch. Um, and I think I have enough to do this, enough left from first time around. I'm just using uh, just a little bit of electrical tape to do the corners, to round the corners. And luckily, I had enough. So now... And I'm happy with the way that came out. Looks like a kind of a arrowhead sort of shape. I have decided to relocate the batteries from their place in the center bilge 
uh, I'm not going to reinstall those trays they're really unnecessary and just extra weight so I removed them um, and the plan is to put them under the port side quarter berth um, and I chose that side because like most boats uh, this boat tends to lean a little bit to one side in this case the starboard side so I'm going to put them on the port side uh, give a, give it a little bit more balance um, and just starting with a piece of plywood that I've cut to size uh, cut to shape to shape the um, shape the uh, taper of the hull and then also beveled the edge for the curvature of the hull and the dry fitting will look something like this essentially I'm just continuing the platform that's holding this side uh, water tank um, going to epoxy that down to the hull after I sand away some of the bilge paint um, then put a kind of a, a cleat or support under here uh, same way I did with the water tank and firstly just epoxy down that cleat there and one against there is also epoxied reinforced with those screws and the cup washers that just kind of continues the line from the uh, continues the line from the the water tank platform okay so now making sure they fit on the platform obviously I had measured uh, but one thing I realize now is that I was planning to um, put in these loops here you know, for the strap one here and one on the other side but because there's very little clearance between here and the top uh, this buckle will be hard to open uh, I suppose I can always just get a, a different kind of strap uh, but but I think what I'm going to do is just have this attach to the side here in other words um, in here uh, screwed into this wood from inside so let's see how that comes and now this is it this is how I've finished it off uh, everything is strapped in all the wiring is in place uh, I could probably do a better job of organizing that at some point um, also I think I'm going to put in a kind of dark uh, but a, a divider here to segregate this compartment from, from this uh, batteries are nice and tucked away um, you know closer to the center in assessing the jobs that I need to do um, I think the the next job uh, in order of well not importance but because I have to do other things uh, after this is to put uh, shelves <clears throat> here in the wet locker uh, I think I mentioned this before in another video so I'm going to put one here not that deep uh, and then one about in the middle here and then one here at the bottom which you know there'll be space underneath so I'll have a small uh, part of it hinged uh, and that'll allow me to put stuff inside uh, probably shoes or something or uh, or wet stuff because that can drain into the bilge so let's see and making a cardboard template for these shelves has proved to be a little bit challenging because the corners are all different angles this is not <laughs> these are not uh, 90 degree angles so um, I think I got it um, there's a tube there for the uh, vent for the holding tank so that's the top one second shelf template <clears throat> And I think that's all I have enough uh, plywood for at the moment. Probably do the third one at a later date. So that went relatively well. I um, was able to cut these out uh, from a half inch uh, two faced teak plywood. Uh, top shelf, middle shelf, I've got the holes for the, the vent for the water tank. 
and the hole for the tank fill for the water and this is all I have left from it was a quarter sheet uh, and this is actually just right for uh, the opening part on the bottom shelf uh, that that'll hinge back like that uh, I just need another piece like this I'm not sure if I have any teak plywood but if not what I might do is use regular plywood and I do have some um, some teak veneer that I had planned to use in the in the galley here uh, but it didn't work out because it was kind of ugly uh, but being that this is kind of hidden away it won't matter much so let's see how that comes so the veneer idea really didn't work out um, wasn't big enough and didn't look good anyway so I uh, found another piece actually I bought this uh, from someone this, it was just a, a long piece and I pieced it together there's actually three pieces here you might be able to see the seam there's one here and then one right around here not real noticeable especially once it's varnished sanded and varnished um, I think this came out okay and here it is dry fitted have the hinges upside down okay now I've completed the initial fitting um, I've added in little blocks wood blocks uh, under each thing for cleats um, this uh, this part here the bottom with the hinge uh, there's actually something in the way here the hose I'm gonna have to cut a corner off that also I want to add a little fiddle here and here and of course I have to varnish them and then screw them in and now I've made those fiddles actually they're not really fiddles they're just little trim pieces uh, kind of retain some some stuff uh, but honestly I wish I wish this thing had a door um, I'm not going to actually try to make one, but uh, I'll probably put some bungees or something, some netting maybe. Ah yes, the joys of varnishing and sanding and varnishing and sanding. Um, ordinarily I usually do a uh, wood sealer and then uh, a schooner varnish topped by gold spar satin, but in this case I'm only doing the gold spar satin. Um, I mean, these aren't really <laughs> ornamental pieces or anything. Uh, and of course, I only bought the pint can by mistake and actually ended up paying the same as a quart. So uh, <clears throat> let's get into this. And finally, everything's installed after being varnished. Uh, got the fiddles installed. Had to run those hoses through there those pain uh, for this bottom compartment get some light um, so I put in this finger pull um, and it's not just a shelf it's a, basically a locker so I could put stuff in there I like the way that came out and uh, actually it looks looks better looks better than it did before because uh, well the wood was raw so it kind of had a very rough look to it but this came out this came out really nice. Uh, I try to make everything look pretty, not just utilitarian. So, I like the way this came out. And speaking of uh, prettying up the boat, um, I've had this this old framed inlay for a little while, and originally I was planning to just take the inlay out of here and embed it somewhere. Uh, somewhere in the, the wood in the boat but decided that this is too nice of a piece to to not just use as is so that I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna just maybe hang it here that looks nice yeah so that's it for now more to come